success. Oh, good day, everyone. It's Peachy, and we're gonna be doing the deluxe cruise. And let's get started. Welcome to the deluxe cruise. What makes this one so special? Eight players get to join in. It's the bee's knees, I say. I'll explain. Yeah, so if any of you happen to watch my ran one of my Random Friday episodes, you will know that I played various mini games with six computer players. Isn't that crazy? I know. I always thought it was a neat gimmick. But for some reason, um, I didn't really show this off. However, I'm going to show it off now. So at first I thought I was going to have trouble picking computer players, but... I don't think there's going to be a problem because two of them were supposed to be kicked off. No matter what, I'm going to be Peach and Daisy at the exact same time. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Yoshi and Bertle. Uh, Wario and Waluigi. And then Toad. Good choice! And Toadette. Yeah, so as you can see, because of Mar and Dry Bones, Luigi and... Boo are not allowed to make their appearance. So sorry. Are you ready? Oh yeah, this guy loves to rush me, doesn't he? <laughs> so yeah, six computer players. We're gonna have a hectic time with this, aren't we? Welcome to the deluxe free play. You can play eight player mini games to your heart's content. I believe there's like what, 16, 15? Oh, 12. Wow, I was way off. I'm going to be playing each of these, so... Um, there is a mode where you can play these on the Battle Royale as well. Throw fruit into the blender, the player on the left takes the oranges. Peach takes oranges while Daisy does strawberries. Peach, Yoshi... Yeah, so basically left for Peach and right for Daisy. Don't grab your partner's fruit by mistake or you lose valuable time. But yeah, you can actually play these mini games on the Battle Royale. But um, since we didn't do this mode on battle, I mean party mode, excuse me. I have to really concentrate on this. I always um, grab the wrong fruit. I mean, I make um, Peach and Daisy always grab the wrong fruit. And then the funny thing is, if you win this, these mini games, you actually get 20 coins. So it's all good. And I gotta say, I love Mario Party 7 for involving such gimmick. I'm not really an orange person, but I love strawberries. Okay, we're gonna do synchronicity. Row and sync with your partner as you head for the goal. Peach, use the control stick, and Daisy, use the C stick. If you match the timing of the rowing, the boat will move faster. Yeah, so I thought that was cool because the GameCube was actually able to use these types of controls. I wonder if they had um, considered doing this for like maybe Mario Party 5 or Mario Party 6, but you know, they didn't have appropriate programming or maybe someone said, Oh, that's a horrible idea. Why did they ever think that would be a success? Because Mario Party 7 is actually the only time you can play with 8 characters at a time. Which I thought was cool because it kind of reminded me of um, Mario Kart Double Dash, how you could have two players on one cart. Oh, oh sorry, that was Synchronicity. Jump over the rotating metal bar to avoid being hit. The last team with a standing player wins. Uh, Peach uh, left, Daisy right. The metal bar is not straight, so you have to watch it closely. I always liked playing this one because it kind of reminded me of Mario Party 1 and 2's, uh, what do you call it? Fire. I gotta remember, I have to remember this or else I'm in trouble. Hot rope jump. I would have been ashamed to call myself a Mario Party fan if I didn't know that mini game. Excuse me. 
I was ready to sneeze, but it didn't come out. All right, now hammer slammer is actually kind of difficult because you'll see. Sur survive the barrage of the hammer bros. Peach control stick to move, and Daisy the C stick to move. Watch the shadow of the hammer so you know where they will land. Survive. Yeah, so, um, because I've been using, since we've all been using the control stick a lot more, our hand is more, uh, used to using the control stick. However, for the C stick, yeah, that's entirely new. Ah! Sorry, Peach. Daisy, it's up to you. Blah! Ah! Sorry. Oh, Toad one. Oh wait, Wario! Yeah, so I usually try to keep Peach on the left side and Daisy on the right side, but poor Toad, he just needed one second. Yeah, so regardless, if you're the only player, your partner will still win, so Wario and Waluigi would have gotten 20 coins if this was for real. Give me a break, give me a break, give me a Kit Kat bar. Stop your scooter closest to the course's edge by hitting the brakes at just the right moment. Peach L to break and Daisy R to break. The scooter slows at a different rate based on the weather. Time it carefully and don't fall in the mud. Indeed, there's three types of weather. There's raining, snow, and summer. Or regular. Funny thing is, I love rain, so I'm glad that we got this one. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so close, but me and Daisy did it. Oh wow, that was awesome, you go girls. Okay, ah oh, man, bumper to bumper, I hate this one. Hop on the amazing hovercraft and use it to ram your throws off the edge. Peach control stick to move and Daisy use the C stick to move. When you see a cart near the edge, hit it hard. Whatever. Toad's way. I can like sometimes win this, but not really. And then I like how the character colors are always like Oh, I just fell off. Um You know like for me my team color is red, so I'm Peach is in the red car, but you know Daisy's a lighter version of red, so it's technically pink. Then you have like Yoshi in the blue car and Birdle in a light blue. I thought that was cool. Stop the slots to make the characters show it. You must make three different characters to win. Peach L to stop and start. Daisy R to stop and start. Once the slot stops, press the button to start anew. The slot will make it full will make one full rotation before stopping. Yeah, so this one can be kind of tricky, especially if it plays with your eyes. But just try and take it slow, one step at a time. So we need to do Goomba. Yahoo! Yep, see? Just like that. There we go. And this is practically the only mini game where Peach says, Nice! And Daisy says, Yes! Oh, this one is very challenging, I will say. And it's a lot of fun, especially if you play with um, another human player. Clo cross the narrow path to make your way to the goal, but don't let your partner drag you down. Peach controls it to move. Daisy C stick to move. If one player falls off, the second player will fall as well. Take your time. Oh man, this is—they were very, very creative with this mini game. I know at times it can—I lose this, but I still think it's very creative what they did. And again, I'm so used to—we're so used to using the control stick that the C stick we don't have much practice doing at all. Ah, see what I mean? This is horrible sometimes. <sighs> Can't do this. Finish. Who got it? Ooh, to it and to. 
but yeah, unfortunately the course remains the same, so they didn't really like develop other types of courses. But hey, at least they made an attempt to make one. Watch for the button symbols to appear over the pipe, then tap that button repeatedly to fix the leak. Peach. Um, okay, so Peach uses the control stick to move and presses all those, and Daisy is the C stick. If you and your partner work on different leaks, the job will go much faster, which is why you need a helper. This one, you're gonna have to be kinda quick because the computer players are very, very fast. I would suggest going for the one first and making your way up or down. Okay, good. See, so look at how far Yoshi and Birdle were. Um, or no, Toad and Toadette were more closer. Okay, bob -omb at Plague is actually kind of unfair. From a ring and past the bob -omb to the next player, when it blows, players on either side will lose. Peach, press L to pass, and Daisy, press R to pass. Whenever the bob -omb turns red, it's ready to blow. Quick, pass it on. Um, when bob -omb explodes, he takes three people out. So, it's not like the usual, just one person. So, if... Like, for example, Toadette or Yoshi had the bob -omb. Peach would be out, so that would suck. And then you can just press the L or R button to make the characters wave at you. Which I think is cool. Blow up, blow up, blow up. <laughs> See what I mean? And of course you can be annoying by not passing the bomb. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Ah! So yeah, it was rigged from the start. I don't know how Yoshi and Birdle did that. But there's usually three rounds. Okay, Unhappy Trails is actually kind of functions like... Rope a dope, but a little more different. Run a relay with your partner to find a precious jewel, then bring it back to the starting line. Peach control stick to move, and Daisy C stick to move. The course is crooked and narrow in many places. Move carefully so you don't fall into the swamp. Um, instead of moving like two characters at the exact same time, you only move one character, so. Daisy will be doing the second and third part of this race, whereas Peach will be doing the first and fourth part. Go. Yeah, see how swiftly I move there? Now watch this part as I fall in dozens and dozens of times. Ah! <laughs> see? Oh. Okay, so from here on I should be fine. It's funny because I use my right hand to write and then I use my left hand for all the controls, right? Finish. Yeah, because on 64, I, the SNES, 64, GameCube, DS, 3DS, I think the Wii, no, 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 the Wii 2, yeah. Shock absorbers. Huh, that's funny. I could have swore there was a minigame named this before. Punch left, right, and up to hit the lights when they blow. If every light is glowing, duck. Peach control stick to do dance. And Daisy the C stick to dance. You'll lose if you fail to punch a glowing button or press the wrong one. I've got to say, even though this is dangerous, but I think this one I would consider my favorite because it's so Hmm. Nerve-wrecking, I guess. I don't know why I would consider this my favorite. Oh, see what I mean? Usually it's the C-stick that I mess up on.
Oh, and then when that happens, just duck. Ah! Yeah, see. Again, I don't know why I consider this my favorite. I don't know. So weird. Alrighty then, so that's all the 8 player mini games, and they are a lot of fun, so if you have this game, I recommend you play it right now, so I guess that will do it for the deluxe free play, and then in the next video I'll be doing the 8 player ice battle, Mario Party on Ice, alrighty.